This is probably my most favorite video yet, ever. The most common question that I get asked on a daily basis is to do a perfume collection. I have been researching like crazy behind all y'all backs of the top fragrances that nobody really knows of. I swear I hear of Baccarat Rouge 540, Creed Aventus, Killian, all of those perfumes. And I've actually tried a few of them out for you guys behind the scenes because I really wanted to give you guys an honest review of fragrances you guys wanna hear about. But I was thinking, you guys already know about all those scents and I want to show you guys my new favorite scents that have been just hitting. They're intense, they last long, they don't smell like each other. So if you guys want to see my thousand dollar perfume collection, these scents all have their own individual smell and are for their own individual purpose. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you guys like these types of videos. All right, let's get into it. So I actually sprayed each perfume I'm talking about today's video on a paper towel so I can smell it as I'm talking about it because I just want to be like reminded of like what it really, really, really smells like. Okay, so the first fragrance we're gonna be talking about is Clean Reserve. And this is in the fragrance Suede Ode, and it is a woody musk. So this fragrance right here is probably my favorite out of every single one that I'm gonna be showing you guys today. It retails for $98. It smells like a dream, not gonna lie. I'm gonna spray this one on myself because it's my favorite one. This is for all of my woodsy girls. This is actually a unisex fragrance in my book. I do think men can wear this, but it's not too masculine. This is the perfect perfume to wear on a wilderness hike type of date that your man is taking you on. And this is the fragrance that you wear and say, oh, I'll go glamping. I'll go outside as long as you buy me some Prada hiking boots. Ow! <laughs> It's very intense, it's strong, it's long wearing. It is the most sexy scent. You're getting laid in this perfume, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. While we are on the topic of Clean Reserve, we are gonna be talking about, okay, Radiant Nectar. This is a completely different scent than the Suede Ode because it's more fruity. It's fun, it's girly, it's youthful, it's just so, ugh. The best way I would describe this perfume is it is a girly girl. She definitely is rich, but she's not bougie. Like, you know, she has money, but she doesn't like flaunt it. Like, she's not wearing designer bags, but she definitely drives a Mercedes C300, like a white Mercedes C300. Like, you know those girls where you get in their car and their car always smells like either perfume or like a really tangerine citrus scent, and you're like, why does your car always smell good? That is this perfume. This girl is always smelling like a fruit. And it's in the best way possible. Just know guys, whenever I talk about fruity scents in today's video, they are done well, okay? They are youthful, they're not childish. And that is a key component here. Okay, so first of all, let's just talk about this bottle. This is Tom Ford Metallic. I believe that's how you pronounce it, metallic. But instead of a C, it's like a Q-U-E, metallic. Maybe that's how you pronounce it. All of my perfumes that I have highly invested in have beautiful, gorgeous bottles where I feel like that is kind of getting lost in translation nowadays. Like I feel like a lot of celebrities make scents and stuff like that that are just a little bit cheap and the bottle is cheap. I feel like we're in the cheap seats here. <laughs> when I show you guys all these fragrances today, all the bottles are expensive looking. They look like a piece of jewelry in your collection, so don't ever forget it. Now let's get back into Tom Ford. This is a pricier perfume. It is definitely an investment, okay? If I were to imagine what Cameron Diaz wore in the holiday movie, I would imagine this perfume. <sighs> when you go through a gorgeous, expensive, luxury area that has like a pine forest in it, this is that smell. It's going to be your go-to winter scent. It's gonna be perfect for the holiday season. It's perfect for fall. It's definitely masculine, but it's not too masculine. Like it's not a unisex fragrance. It's more just, hi, it's nighttime. I'm on a very Aspen or Vail or even just Montana holiday vibes. I'm staying in a really nice $2 million cabin 
and I'm just underneath a gorgeous flannel blanket. That is this fragrance. Okay, so now we are moving on to all of my vanilla queens. If you like vanilla, you're gonna love this smell. This is the grown woman version of the Bare Vanilla Body Spray from Victoria's Secret. And if you guys know me, you know I love Bare Vanilla. This is the Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods. It's a true vanilla smell. I feel like a lot of vanilla perfumes either smell cheap or they don't smell like vanilla at all. This is just so beautiful. It's a combination of vanilla mixed with musk. Either could be daytime or nighttime smell. It's just so perfect for either of the times of day. I feel like this reminds me of a girl who like bathes in like vanilla everything. Like she has a vanilla body wash, a vanilla body butter. It's like walking around like a human cookie. So it's definitely not gonna be one of those fragrances that you spray on and then you're like, wait, so where is it? Like you're gonna recognize this smell on you for hours and that is so important to me. And may I say as a quick sidebar that all of the perfumes that people recommend do not last very long and I want to be in search of only perfumes that last me all day because I do not want to have to reapply, especially if I'm gonna be out. All of these perfumes you do not have to reapply, people will smell it on you for like seven plus hours. So just remember that when you are investing. Okay, we're moving on to a classier vanilla smell. This is the Atelier Cologne Vanilla Incense. For all of my whatever language this is, please tell me if I said it right. If I didn't, I'm sorry, but it is, let me just, again, refresh my memory. Yeah, this is giving me independent woman vibes. This is a girl who is independent, lives in New York, maybe is going on a date tonight, maybe not. Maybe she's just going shopping, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be like a designated scent for a specific day, it's just more grown. It's a grown vanilla vibe. Like if you want vanilla but you don't wanna come off childish and you wanna come off like anybody would like this scent and it just has a tad of vanilla in it, that is this smell right here. And I do wanna mention, you can mix vanilla scents with other sense. I like to mix vanilla with woodsy smells or sandalwood smells so it's not too much of a contrast. You don't want to do like vanilla in something too sweet and I do want to encourage you guys to mix your scents because that's how you're going to make your perfume be less like everyone else's. It's going to be unique to your own style and what smells good with your body chemistry. Okay, this next scent a lot of you guys probably already know about because I do believe it is a men's cologne. It's Dior Sauvage, okay? This right here, first of all, this bottle is just striking. It's absolutely beautiful. I love this fragrance because it's unisex. You can layer this scent as a woman or you honestly can wear it by yourself. Me personally, this works really well with my body chemistry. It has me smelling sexy as hell. Like Megan Fox back in Jennifer's body, that is the smell right here. Like just really sexy, beautiful, popular girl. Like that's what I get from this and it just smells so sexy. This is a New York City Vegas night. You're never gonna have to reapply this throughout the day because it's that good, it's that strong. The bottle is no joke. And again, please layer this. Layer this with your vanillas, layer this with your woodsy smells because yes, it is a cologne, but layered with other scents is just gonna give you that really unique smell. I think that this reminds me of a clean man but he's more on the feminine side, if that makes sense. So it's not too, too, too manly that you're like, oh, I'm a little bit too intimidated by the smell. It's definitely not that. It's the perfect amount of masculine for us women to enjoy. Mm. Mm. Uh, what are you doing? Okay, so this perfume is probably my second favorite out of the bunch. It is something I've never smelled before. One thing I wanna mention, if I didn't mention this already, is that none of these scents smell alike at all. Like, none of them smell similar, which I love. You do not want all your perfumes to smell alike. And I feel like at one point in my life, all the perfumes that I used to buy at like Macy's and JCPenney's like years ago all smelled the same, and maybe that's why I liked them. But now I like to have different scents because I'm a different chick every single day, and I want a different scent to go with my new embodiment, okay? So we are gonna go right in with the Ellis Suite. This right here, I believe is a new fragrance. It smells so freaking good. The notes in this are pear, orris, and marshmallow. So the Killian Love Don't Be Shy also has marshmallow in it. This right here does not smell like marshmallow at all. It really smells more like pear, if anything. I have found the perfect grown woman fruity perfume. You are not going to feel childish with this perfume at all, but it still gives you like that gorgeous, effortless, cute,
cutesy vibe. This is a perfume that is meant for a girl with a light pink bathroom who's just looking for that elegance. Like you love those crystal and gold chandeliers. You love wearing slippers. You love wearing robes. You love putting blush over your nose. That is literally what this perfume reminds me of. It's just feel cute. And by cute, I mean when I just feel like effortlessly adorable and just young. Sometimes people can be like catching headaches when there's too much like sweet in the room. And I don't want you guys to think that this is a headache forming perfume. It's the perfect fruity. I don't know how else to describe it. It's just so fruity and perfect. You're gonna freaking love it. And last but not least, this is actually a perfume that a lot of you guys probably already own. This is the C Passion. This is by Giorgio Armani. It says that the notes in it are rose, wood, and vanilla, which I would have to agree. This smells like a clean woman, like straight out of the shower. You kind of use like some sort of body wash that has more of a grown woman fragrance to it. It's definitely not like a Target body wash. You got this body wash from like an apothecary and that's what this perfume reminds me of. It just reminds me of a woman who just always has things in her bathroom with brands you've never heard of and you're like, ooh, that smells good. Ooh, this smells great. Oh my God, this smells amazing. I have the small bottle I will be upgrading. It's good for all of my gals and guys who like floral scents but don't like them too much and you're kind of fearful of them if it goes a little bit in the weird direction. I think a lot of the Gucci fragrances can get a little bit too florally. This right here has the perfect floral notes without it reaching that obnoxious old lady vibe, if you know what I mean. It's giving me very Gemini vibes, like Angel Devil. It's a girl that's really sweet but she has a temper. That is what C reminds me of. But yeah, that's my fragrances. I have been so excited to make this video for you guys because you guys really wanted a new perfume video. I just don't do them that often because I don't buy perfume that often. Like I literally stick to my scents and then I just stick to them for years. This is the first time in a long time that I made a huge purchase and bought like a million scents and have been really loving them. I do have favorites, but for the most part, they all smell like 10 out of 10s on my scale. I feel like this is the perfect, perfect, perfect video for all of my gals who are just in need of a new perfume and you want to put something on your Christmas list this year, it is just literally the most needed thing is to have a new refreshing perfume. I feel more inspired now to rock different looks and to just go out when I feel like my fragrances are just top notch. They all smell luxury. They all last extremely long. Don't worry guys, I will leave all of the perfumes down below for you guys to pick up. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Let me know down below any other video ideas you guys have for me. I really enjoyed making this. Thanks for hanging out with me in my living room and just chilling with me today. And uh, I cannot wait for Christmas. I might individually wrap all these perfumes because that's a hell of a lot of perfumes. That's a thousand dollars worth of perfumes. I love it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and follow me on Instagram, of course. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys. Bye.